The Benson Shelter is a transition for unaccompanied minors, and it's meant to unite migrants with a sponsor while they go through the court system. And it sparked controversy in the small city over whether there are enough resources to handle it. Now on your side, Ciara Encinas spoke with the mayor of Benson. This is the shelter holding about 20 unaccompanied minors, but it can hold up to 50. Benson Mayor Joe Conrad is calling on the federal government to step in because his small city just doesn't have the resources to do what federal agencies like Border Patrol and ICE are supposed to do. He says two incidents have already happened that have strained the city's resources. Just below the sign welcoming people to Benson, you'll find an old hotel turned shelter for unaccompanied minors who've crossed into the United States. I feel that transparency would have gone a long ways when that permit was taken out. That's because when it began operating, it became the talk of the small city. When the, is the permit was issued, it was issued for a transient uh, temporary housing, but no mention of, of, of illegal immigrants. It's being run by Vision Quest Arizona, a youth services organization. CEO Mark Contento says Vision Quest tried to be transparent and followed all the rules and guidelines requested. Benson was the chosen location because it's close to Tucson. Um, uh, uh, recruiting staff is always an issue. Uh, the larger the met metropolitan area is better, uh, but it was just a, a location that, that worked for us. The facility was, uh, was conducive to our needs, and we've been working with a, a landlord who's been very cooperative and very supportive in uh, getting the facility up and running. Now that the shelter is up and running, Mayor Conrad says the bottom line is the federal government needs to step in with resources, something he says his city just doesn't have. You know, our federal government is doesn't seem to be doing anything to help solve the problem. The problem is still at the border and, and then it keeps coming farther and farther as they choose to not address that. Contento agrees that the federal government should step in if Benson needs resources. To the extent there's a need, I would fully support any any federal support that can be given to Benson because yes, I do agree that uh, this is a national problem, should not be placed on any, uh, any particular community. In Benson, the police force is made up of 15 and the fire department is mostly volunteer based. In the last couple of weeks, Mayor Conrad says there was a fire in the shelter's kitchen and a child ran away. So our police department was contacted, responded, apprehended the youth, brought them back to Vision Quest and were told that they can't accept them back, that now we have to turn them over to ICE. Vision Quest says the child was 14 and a situation like this is unusual. The message to the people of, uh, of Benson is feel proud of uh, what you're doing and what you're what you're part of because uh, this is a, this is a need and uh, we're, we're, we're part of the solution. Mayor Conrad says that he's reached out to both Arizona senators and has a meeting later on this week with Senator Cinema. In the meantime, he says that the Cochise County Sheriff's Department has offered to help in any way they can. Reporting in Benson, Sierra Encinas, Kiga Night on your side.